da 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 dum, da 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 dum. Welcome back to Jim Boy's Kitchen. What's this? Is this a frying pan? Is this a plate? <laughs> well, if you say it's a tower, you know tower, uh, then you are correct. I want to show you how to make a simple dish. And it's not a dish, it's more of a texture of a roti, but uh, in, it's in the category of uh, like pancake. But instead, I'm going to show you how to make an easy uh, dosé. All right, simple and delicious. There is many ways to make dosés. Uh, for you dosés lovers or makers, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, you could add anything you want inside to kick it up a notch. But a simple dosé, I'll show you now how to make it. Let's go make it on this wonderful tower. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a nice uh, flat surface. See? Stainless steel. <laughs> to make dosé. And this is what you use to make roti too. Alright? So, let's go make some dosé. Hey, welcome back Jim Boy's Kitchen. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. And you? <laughs> let's go. Jim Boy's Kitchen on another mission. And of course, it's a very simple dish. I guesstimated it got me in this bowl here. I use a smaller bowl, preferable I just use this one. I don't want to make too much dosy. Maybe a, let me see how many cup, maybe a cup of uh, flour will do. Just guesstimate. Jimbo's Kitchen on another mission with you here. Making a wonderful dosé. Showing you how simple it is to make dosé. Ah, pat kitty bye bye. <laughs> yeah. All right. They got me about a, a cup and a, a cup of flour there. That might be a cup, right? Or a cup and a half. It doesn't matter. Show the next step. All right. They got the, a cup of all-purpose all-purpose flour there. Uh, with this, I'm gonna add uh, guesstimate. Yeah. That's good, right? <laughs> One tablespoon of uh, baking powder. Baking powder. Baking powder. <laughs> All right, that's all about it so far, folks. Simple and easy, dosé. Now, this is option. You could make it a little bit uh, sweet, give it a sweet texture, but not too sweet. So, what I like to do is put a quarter teaspoon uh, of uh, sugar inside, just to give it a sweet texture. That's all. Build this dosé bad boy. Give it a texture, right? Preferable. Use a fork. At this point, you know, you have an option. You want to kick this up a great notch. <laughs> you could add some seasoned salt. You could add a little bit of, uh, um, you know, uh, any onion, uh, pepper. Yeah, kick it up a notch. But no, I just want to make a simple uh, ca category-wise, uh, like a pancake. A dosé. <laughs> All right, dosé, dosé. So simple, just the sugar. And uh, some baking powder with all-purpose fl all flour. And now we're going to add a pinch of salt. Um, uh, just a, a pinch of salt. That's, uh, yeah. How does it look? Like a pinch? <laughs> just to give it a little flavor to your taste. And, of course, it will give that crackling uh, flakes of, on it also, right? Stir up the bad boy. Simple, you know, simple dish. Now, remember, I'm not making dosi, I'm roti here, so if I intend to make roti, then this is going to be a solid uh, kind of a, uh, on the harder side of uh, dough. But no, I'm making a liquid uh, mixture here, all right? A liquid mixture because I want to put it on that bad boy tower. And I'll show you how the next step. With this, I'm going to add water now to build a liquid texture. At this point, no need to use my hands, all right? Uh, a fork will do the trick. Because I'm making a liquid uh, texture here now. Add water. Just keep adding, 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 adding. 
and I want to keep a consistent uh, uh, liquid texture here. I don't want it to build no lumps uh, to actually form like a roti dough, all right? Keep adding. I want to consistently keep adding, but I don't want it to be too thick, uh, too thin, so uh, I want to just bring it to a nice uh, texture here. Oh, coming to come. This is what I'm looking for. Uh, no need to add yeast. Uh, this is just a simple. I want to show you how simple it is to make a wonderful dosa. Or pancake, you know. Yeah, um, for many you may say uh, this is leading to pancake. Well, it's the same kind of a texture, same uh, category of pancake, uh, but uh, hey, Caribbean, you call it dosa. <laughs> I call it dosé. Oh man, look at this. Nice already. Want to bring it up, beat it up a little bit. Get rid of some of the lumps. Oh man, you have smell of vision <laughs> You have a smell of um, pancake mixture without cooking. <laughs> Jimbo's kitchen tell you so. Wonderful, that's the texture I'm looking for right now. Not too thin, not too thick. Now, time to get the bad boy heat going on on the tower. In a separate bowl, I have some oil, vegetable oil. We use canola oil, anything. Make me a little bit of spread here, like a brush. Uh, simple tissue gonna do the trick. Now at this point, I wanna rub the tower. All right, I want to rub, 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 rub with some oil. How nice, huh? <laughs> Got me this towel for over 40 years, you know. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So simple. Getting all prepared now to put that dosi on, right? want to bring this up to a high, to a nice heat. Heat the te texture. And I don't want it to... Uh, be too hot to burn the dosa. I wanted to just uh, kind of a wonderfully bake both sides, all right? I'll show you. All right, bring this bad boy up to a nice temperature and I'll show you how simple it is to make a wonderful uh, couple of dosa to go with any kind of thing, you know, some curry with the same category of roti but with a different te mixture, right? Uh, it's more into the category of uh, making pancake, I repeat again, all right? So I bring this bad boy up to a nice temperature and I'll show you the next step. All right, let's do a backyard style, right? <laughs> Rub some oil on this bad boy again. I want to bring the heat up, so... This will kind of uh, bake uh, or toast the uh, pancake as it goes on, all right? It's not going to be sticky. It's not going to be solid hard, all right? It's going to be having a nice oily texture. Just uh, load the heat and give it a temperature. That's all I want to do. We're, we're, not, we're not frying. I'm just uh, kind of a baking this, all right? I like the design of this towel, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to bring this uh, temperature up on this tower for at least a hundred degrees or more. Hey, better the heat, better the taste. <laughs> now I must tell you, the temperature is coming up because you see smoke coming out, steam, smoke from the tower, which is pretty good. The oil is hot on the surface. This dish costs zero dollars. The reason why I had some flour in the cupboard, I had some uh, sugar that I had in the side to make my tea, coffee, I had some baking powder on the side, and I had some salt where I cook my dishes, right? <laughs> so I used those uh, and I get this bad boy with some water, right? <laughs> All right, now, best way to do this is with a spoon. I use a, a little spoon, I could just drip some down, want to be careful pouring this down. This is just a light, this is a liquid now, right? It's more of a liquidy uh, uh, mixture here, 
Uh, I don't want to make it too, too big. So I'll just uh, go easy on this and spread it out now with a spoon. I want to make it uh, kind of uh, thin as possible, but not too, too thin, all right? Beautiful. Don't have to be pretty. Don't have to be a superstar. Doesn't have to be too round. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm waiting for the bubbles to come out as it bake. It's baking on the on side A, right? <laughs> oh man, dosi coming up. Want to let it bake on one side. Now I got it on medium heat. All right, you want to turn the heat down to medium. Want to want it to bake both sides. So. I'll see bubbles, but bubbles come out here on this side, on the liquid side, then or the raw side, hey, then I know it's cooking through, all right? Show you the next step. Uh, we're going to look at this bad boy. You know, let me let you look at it, see how it's coming. It takes about, uh, let's say, um, uh, two minutes on each side. So let it go for two minutes on one side, then... We put some oil. Hey, secret. I'll drop a little uh, drips of oil this side and turn it over and uh, show you what it looks like. And dosa is ready, you know. Good thing to use for it is a spatula like this, right? <laughs> want to lift it up. Don't want it to burn. Look at that. How beautiful. It's moving around already. Oh, man. Gosh, a wonderful dosa. I got me some goat curry that I had uh, cooked up a little bit. Um, you could eat this with any goat curry or anything. <laughs> want to just uh, dump this bad boy here with some oil. Not too much, just a little bit, all right? Let it uh, cook, uh, cook, uh, cook, uh, cook. Uh. <laughs> could have made it thinner if I wanted. Uh, but this is perfect. I want to be able to uh, be eating some nice roti, too, you know, kind of a dosi texture. <laughs> At this point, I want to check it uh, to make sure it's not burning. And I could see it's coming to come beautifully on the other side, on the first side. Oh, man, it's baking so nicely with a nice medium heat. And man, let it go slowly. You see the bubbles I'm talking about? Those uh, that's uh, popping up there, that means it's uh, the flour or the dosi is cooking through, all right, from bottom up. <laughs> all right, yeah, with a little bit of oil to give it that moisture so it doesn't uh, be too hard. I want it to be kind of a flexy or plexy, you know. <laughs> a nice way to check it, I uh, just want to lift it up. And take a nice peek in the bottom. When it see it start becoming a little bit golden brown, that means one side is finished, all right? I'm so eager to turn it up to show you, all right? <laughs> all right, want to careful not to burn it. Uh, just wanted to bring up a nice brown texture. Now it's time to turn this bad boy up. Hold it with one spoon if you want. And just flip this bad boy nice and easy. You don't have to be a superstar. Look at that. How beautiful. And then uh, just put this bad boy down here again. Oh, man. Nice dosi coming up. And, of course, you could uh, make it a little bit uh, lighter um, by not uh, letting it come to a fully golden brown. But I like to see my dosi kind of uh, have this nice, beautiful texture here. Oh man, goes well with bacon choka too, you know. Now, it's the same category of uh, uh, roti, folks, but uh, it's in a different atmosphere of the mixture, right? Uh, it's a liquid mixture. Um, you don't have to be a superstar. Also, you could also, hey, put some syrup and it becomes pancake, huh? <laughs> How beautiful. Look at that. Oh man, this goes well with some nice pumpkin. You have pumpkin by ganchoka or some goat curry. Ah, chicken curry. You got some. Oh, you had smell of vision. You smell the bad boy right away. Oh man. So, easy way to make dosa, folks. You don't have to be a superstar. Jim Boy's Kitchen show you an easy way to make this wonderful dosa. Then we're going to. Turn this bad boy up, just take a peek again. Want to peek it, all right? Want to take a nice peek uh, just to make sure that you're not burning it, uh, that you're having this wonderful atmosphere of dosi. 
but a cooked through dosa, right? <laughs> Medium heat will do the trick also. So you see how simple the ingredients is to make this wonderful dosa. Any one of you could make this. All right, and you don't have to be too wrong like how I did it. You don't have to be a superstar. You could make an animal shape. <laughs> oh, man. Let me show you how easy and nice I could flip it over. Flop it like this. Look at that. How beautiful dosa. See that, folks? Wonderful. That's the kind of a texture I wanted. Look at this. Both sides, lightly brown, and the dosa is ready. All right, look at that. Oh man, and it's cooked through, folks. All right, so so simple it is to make dosa. Put this bad boy in a plate. Time to play this bad boy. Show you what I'm talking about. Ah, simple to make dosa. Now, folks that love to make roti and don't know how to make roti, start off by making dosa with a simple mixture. All right. And uh, you will have the same texture of pretending you're eating roti. It's, it smell the same too, you know. <laughs> and uh, we'll continue making the rest. And of course, when as you're about to make the others, you have to re-oil the surface of the pan, all right? So, well, so that uh, you keep that cooking process going on. Just lightly oil it up a little bit and... Uh, do the next batch. Here we go again. Nice and easy. You don't have to be a superstar. You don't have to be a superstar. You could make it thinner. You have an option if you want to make it thinner also by putting less mixture and spread it off nicely with uh, your spoon. See, spoon, uh, I recommend to do this job better. So you have a nice control over the spreading out and uh, the shape. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Nice. Another batch of dosi coming. Another dosi. I think this mixture will give me a nice, uh, hey, uh, five dosi. Not bad, right? And then I let it uh, continue the same process. All right. Oil again. Just uh, sap some oil on this one side. On the raw side, oh man, this gives a nice moisture uh, into it. And then, how the side look? Perfect. Flip the bad boy. Nice. So you have the same roti texture as you go by. All right. Kind of have that golden brown. Kind of a nice roti texture, dosi, pancake texture. Hey, can't go wrong. Uh, could put some bad boy oil here again on this side. So keep the uh, so in this way it's uh, kind of a plexi and have this wonderful texture here, right? Nice. Let the bad boy go for another minute or two, and this one is done. Delicious roti, easy does it. Here it is, folks. Roti with some goat curry, you could hey, eat it with hasa curry, baigan choka, anything. How beautiful and texturous. So, uh, for those that uh, would like to eat roti or know, uh, want to know how to make roti, this is an easy step. So, you could have a roti texture in your plate, all right, to eat with anything. Just make it that liquid, uh, the way I made it, uh, with that liquid mixture, and you'll love it. Dosi. Time to try this bad boy, I want to show you. Oh man, look at that. So an, another way how to eat uh, roti in a different format, if you don't know how to prepare the harder dough, the solid dough, hey, make dough say the way I made it and you will love it. Look at that. Take a bite. Mm-mm, mm-mm, Delicious. So make it my way, you will love it, folks. Oh, man. Delicious. Goes with any kind of a mixture, any kind of a curry. You could eat it plain, just like so. All right? Put some peanut butter, some syrup. <laughs> Until the next one, Jim Boy's Kitchen reminding each and every one of you to be kind to someone that's not kind to you and kindness will prevail. Until the next dish or the next scenery. Dosi. <laughs> Make it my way, you'll love it. 
with some nice bad boy chicken curry. All right, uh, easy way to get uh, uh, to make a fast uh, uh, texture of roti. If many of you don't know how to make roti, uh, easy way I show you how to get uh, the same category of a roti flavor, right? And uh, hey, mixture. Once again, Jim Boy's Kitchen saying adios, mi amigos, and goodbye, everybody. And folks, this dish costs zero dollars because of those little things I had in the refrigerator. Hey. Once again, let's say it together. Remember, folks, all condolences went out to that uh, Anil Bhima, a very great singer. Um, so sad that his life was gone or taken away, or his privilege was taken away from this physical life so suddenly. That's why when we say we don't have no time, humans say we don't have no time. Later when I get time, what time is it? I'll make some time. No one has the right of saying those things. For there is no such thing as time. The present of this physical life is just a gift that can be revoked at any time by the Almighty Lord or the Great, uh, the Maker of the Higher Heights. With that Jim Boy's Kitchen saying once again, let's repeat, be kind to someone that's not kind to you and kindness will prevail. Until the next one once again, let's say it together. Adios, mi amigos, and goodbye, everybody. Oh yeah. And don't forget, subscribe, like, and share. Like you're crazy. <laughs>